Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to tell you how to clear cell contents using an Excel macro. So basically uh, I've got a bunch of random numbers here and I'm going to show you how to very quickly delete a range of all of these numbers using a macro. And if you'd like to get the workbook here, you see here, as well as the macro, you can go to teachexcel.com, search for this tutorial, and download everything there. Now the two um, keyboard shortcuts I'm going to be using, Alt F11 for the VBA window, and Alt F8 to view macros. So let's go ahead and begin. The first thing I want to do is basically just to clear, say, this range, C1 to C11. So I want to take everything out of it. And it, it does not matter if this is text or numbers or formulas or anything. It will all be taken away with the method I'm going to show you now. So let's hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. Select your workbook. Go to the Insert menu and Module. And now let's go ahead and create the macro. <coughs> Now the first way, way I'm going to show you how to do it is simply with the range property. It's pretty much the most basic property and by now you should be pretty familiar with it if you've been viewing the tutorials. So range, now let's go ahead and select C1 to C11 and all we have to do to clear the contents of the cells very clearly or easy to guess I suppose, clear contents and you see it fills in right there. Now let's try the macro out. Alt F11, Alt F8, click run and there you go. Nothing is left in these cells. Completely empty, double click, nothing, no formulas, nada. So let's go back and I'm going to show you a couple different things you can do with this. So obviously, as you can see, it's very simple, right? A range, select a range, and dot clear contents. That's it. Now, uh, if you're not very familiar with a range, if I wanted to select um, the entire column, C column, what I could do is simply have it like this, C to C. And if I wanted to select multiple columns, say A through C, I could do something like that. Now what this is going to do is whatever worksheet you are on, if you um, run this macro, I'm going to go ahead and go back real quick. So if you run this macro, it's going to clear the contents of cells C1 to C11. But sometimes you may uh, be anywhere throughout the worksheet and you want to run a macro that's only going to affect one particular worksheet. Now in order to do that, right before range, simply type worksheets, open parentheses, quote, now input the name of the worksheet, so the name on the tab of the worksheet. By default it could be Sheet 1, Sheet 2, or Sheet 3. Three. I have renamed mine to Numbers, because I simply add random numbers there. Close quote, close parentheses, and add a period. So now what this is saying is go to the worksheet Numbers, select this range, and clear these contents. So I'm going to test this on, let's go ahead and clear everything in column A. So I'm going to hit Alt F11 to close this and I don't have multiple worksheets so I'm going to go ahead and add one real quick by clicking the little button right here. I'm going to hit Alt F8 and now I'm going to run the macro. Let's go back and see what happened. There you go. Range A is completely empty. Nothing's here. And we didn't have to be on that worksheet in order to do that. So that's the benefit of using this little worksheets and then the name of the worksheet thing right here in front of the range. Otherwise though, that is how you can fully and completely clear cell contents using an Excel macro. If you'd like to get the workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, download it there. Otherwise, that's the end of this tutorial.